the only thing Putin understands is force, Finnish President Alexander Staub said in an interview with CNN. He is sure that negotiations between Ukraine and Russia are not possible at this moment. I have been involved in peace mediation over the years, and of course, when you are mediating peace, it begins with dialogue. And after dialogue, you start setting parameters. But I think the cold truth in this particular case is that the only way we can achieve peace is through the battlefield. Alexander Stubb, president of Finland, in an interview with CNN. Russia cannot be trusted when it comes to peace negotiations. Deputy Secretary General of NATO Mitcha Dione is convinced Moscow will use the truce to regain strength but will not abandon its plans. That is why, according to Dione, it is so important that Ukraine moves closer to joining NATO and the European Union. Even if they, the Russian authorities, eventually start talking about peace, it will not be about peace as such, but about a truce for rearmament and subsequent return. We neglected defense because we believed, we all believed that we were living in a more peaceful world. And now we cruelly wake up in a new reality. Mircea Joana, Deputy Secretary General of NATO, in an interview with LBC. When these threats begin to be absolutely real, both foreign intelligence services and analytical centers, such as the Institute for the Study of war talk about it. They look at the absolutely inadequate behavior of Russian troops in Ukraine, at the fact of the violation of international law, facts of genocide. Of course, they understand that with such a dictator, a cannibal, all their agreements, even hypothetical ones, will be worth nothing. Moreover, if we analyze the situation even more deeply, I think no one will remember a single international agreement that was fully implemented by the Russian side. France does not intend to maintain a dialogue with Moscow after telephone conversations between French Defense Minister Sebastian Lecanu and Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. The Russian Ministry of Defense stated that during the conversations, I quote, a readiness for dialogue on Ukraine was noted. The report also said that negotiations in Turkey could be a starting point. The French government called this message a lie. Moscow distorted the content of the conversation. It is not in our interest today to hold discussions with Russian officials since the press releases and the reports they make are lies. Stéphane Sejourné, Minister for Foreign Affairs of France, in an interview with RFI and France 24. Putin cannot be trusted. The president of Ukraine's show, in an interview with Bild, Volodymyr Zelensky commented on Donald Trump's initiative regarding the plan to end Russia's war against Ukraine. If we are talking about the fact that we simply have to give up our territories, then this is a very primitive idea, he noted. We need weighty arguments, we don't need a fantastic idea, but a real one. This is about human lives, we cannot make jokes and we can't take risks. We are dealing with Putin here, everything he has said so far. After that, he acted differently. We cannot trust him. We can agree on anything, but it is a question of whether he will stick to it. Volodymyr Zelensky, president of Ukraine, in an interview with Bild. The Global Peace Summit in mid-June in Switzerland will bring together the leaders of the countries participating in the Ukrainian peace formula. The the purpose of the conference is to create conditions for achieving lasting peace in Ukraine, as well as to develop a concrete roadmap for Russia's participation in the peace process, the Swiss government said in a statement, Reuters reports. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Yulia Bil, UATV News.